Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well, who teach well. And a sincere salutation to all the occupants pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the lake. And to the Agwa who are listening and learning. Coming at you with another lesson, Lord willing, be edified. First off, I'm going to say this. Looking at the news and um, what Michael did to the panhandle, they talking about um, they praying for everybody. What well, the Lord say, first off, these is heathens, okay? These Edomites, mainly Edomites. But the Lord say, them that don't hear the laws, man, even their prayers an abomination. They talking about praying. Okay, they send their prayers out to everybody. Hey, Amen. The Lord jacking these peoples up. But I just had to say that. This lesson is about Israelites, okay? This is about Hebrew Israelites. The Lord told our people, and we are saying the same things over and over and over. Listen. It's a separation, man, okay? The Lord have a separation. He do not want his people joined to these heathens, okay? No way, man. No shape, no form, man. We do not supposed to be joined together with these people, man. The Lord said he's coming back to separate the sheep from the goats. Now, we know that's talking about the elect. From the um, wicked, okay, the righteous from the wicked. He's coming to separate the one third of Israel from the two thirds, okay? He's coming back to separate the righteous from the wicked. Now, we know, according to the scriptures, according to Malachi, 1, 3, Malachi chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, the wicked is the Edomites. Now, you also have two-thirds of Israel that are following the wicked. So, they are basically Gentiles as well. The Lord is coming back to separate, okay? He's not trying to join everybody together on the one banner, which is what the elites are trying to do with the New World Order, okay? This one world government. You got uh, at the Tower of Babel, Nimrod tried to do the same thing, Okay? And you got um, this wicked demon, Antiochus Epiphanes. He tried to do the same thing, man. Okay? During the time of his rulership, which is in the Apocrypha, which also is in the book of Daniel. The Lord don't want no um, big gathering, man, of all the nations. Okay? He doesn't. Now, I'm going to read this. This is Isaiah. Chapter 40, in verse 15, it reads, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and I count it as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he take up, up the owls as a very little thing. All, the, let's say, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. Now that same precept is in the apocryphal in Second Ezra. In Second Ezra, Second Ezra chapter six, and I'm gonna start at fifty-four, and it reads. And after these, Adam also, who thy madest, Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Now, it say right here in verse 50, in 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 54, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lower over all thy creatures, of him come we all. Okay? 
You're just going to say the same thing in Deuteronomy 32. I'm going to read it. It says Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, possessive pronoun, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Now, going back to 2 Ezra chapter 6. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, like I just read in Deuteronomy 32 and 8. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, all these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, and this is what I read in Isaiah chapter 40 about the other people. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, okay? But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hand. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance which the world, how long shall, it say, I'm um, reading this again. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Now, verse 58 say, but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Hey, that's how you know these scriptures link up. This apocrypha was in these scriptures, man. They link up together. He say, thy firstborn. Now, this is Exodus chapter 4 and verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Okay? Now, he said these heathens I begin to be low us over us, man. We don't supposed to be joined with these heathen, man. Now we gotta work with them. We have to live around them. Okay, it's a scripture that tell you that woe to ye that is joined house to house, man. We don't supposed to be joined house to house in these apartments, okay? We don't supposed to be joined to these heathens, man. That's why the scripture tell you that love thy neighbor as thyself. And our neighbors were the twelve tribes of Israel. We was in the land. We was in our own land, man. When we was in Jerusalem, we weren't next to no heathens, man. Okay? So people get that confused talking about, oh, you're supposed to love your neighbor. That's talking about an Israelite, man. One of the 12 tribes. Now, this verse just said, these heathens, they said they be as a drop that falleth from a vessel, man. Okay? They are, they are like spittle when you spit on the ground, man. And I read that in Isaiah chapter 40. Okay, that same thing I read in, in 2 Ezra. Say it again. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Meaning, nothing, man. They are counted as nothing, man. Okay? It just said that the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Okay? He said, all nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing, man. Less than nothing. So why are we trying to be joined with these demons, man? Okay. And I was meditating on this. When we was in captivity, they created their constitutions. Okay. They set up their laws and how they should conduct themselves. You got Jake want to celebrate July the 4th. Okay, what was July the 4th all about, man? In the setting up Independence Day, man. That's when they took over this land, man, from the natives, okay? Establishing their 13 colonies. We wasn't a part of that, man. We was in captivity at that time. So why do you want to be joined? And then it, it, 
it's still the same way today, man. Okay? But you want to be joined to these heathen, man. We are in the land of our captivity, man. Our people don't want to damn wake up, man. We don't supposed to be joined with these demons, man. We have to work with them. We have to shop around them. Okay? We have to live around them. But we don't have to be joined with them, man. Okay? We don't supposed to be joined with these heathens, man. When they set up their constitutions, we was in captivity, man. So the laws that they the laws that they set up for them is only for them, man. It is that does not um include you, man. Them laws don't include us, man. None of their constitutional laws. Or call that everybody wanna tell me, oh, I got my my right to speech and right to bear arms and man, that don't apply to Jake, man. That only apply to these Edomites, man, okay? And all the other heathen nations. Israel is the only nation, man, okay? Out of all 17 nations, out of all 18 nations, Israel, which is one nation, the 12 tribes, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans, we are counted out of everything in this land, man. We are counted out of everything. Because the Lord on the sun us over here to serve out our captivity, man. And he tell you in Matthew 6 that he's going to give you what you need daily, man. You're not supposed to be over here trying to be like the healing, man. No way, man. That's why I tell you that. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it. In Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. And it, it, it reads... Start at verse 1. Hear ye the words which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? Learn not the way of the heathen. And I don't care what it is, man. You don't suppose to try to be like the heathen, man. No way. We supposed to be separate to these demons, man. To all these nations, man. This is Luke chapter 12 and verse 51. So this is in the red, so we know this Yahweh shot speaking. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division, man. The Lord is about division, man. Separation. And I'm gonna prove that. Now this is um Let me see, I think it's in Romans 11. No, it's um, Corinthians. Let me make sure. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach, okay? Be ye followers of me. Now, this is Paul speaking. Be ye followers of me as I am of Hamashiach. Now, I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Paul said we're supposed to be followers of of Yahweh Shai, man. Now they say Yahweh Shai is a so-called white man. That's not in the scriptures, man. Okay? So why are we trying to follow behind a white, a so-called white man? The images that they put up, man. That they set up. Why are we trying to follow behind these images? This is um First Maccabees chapter 3. In verse 48. And it reads. And lay open the book of the law. What's the book of the law? These scriptures man. Okay. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint. The likeness of their images man. Okay. And lay open the book of the law. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint. The likeness of their images man. 
why are we trying to follow behind this so-called white man? It's Edomite, uh, Jesus Christos, okay? Uh, Serapis Christus. It's Esau. This, this is Esau God, okay? Edomites have a God too, and I'm going to read it. This is uh, Second Chronicles. This is Second Chronicles, chapter twenty-five. We start at verse eleven, and Amaziah strengthened himself and led forth his people and went to the valley of salt and smote of the children of Seir ten thousand. Talking about the, the Edomites, and. Other 10,000 left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive and brought them unto the top of the rock and cast them down from the top of the rock that they were all broken in pieces. But the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back that they should not go with him to battle fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria even unto Betharon and smote 3,000 of them, and took much spoil. Now it came to pass, after that Amaziah was come from the slaughtering, from the slaughter of the Edomites, that he brought the gods of the children of Seir, and set them up to be his gods, and bowed down himself before them, and burnt incense unto them. This is what our people are doing right now, man. They are worshiping the gods of Esau, man, of Edom, okay? That Jesus Christ picture, man, that picture go back to Caesar, to, uh, Caesar Borgia, which was a man who lived in the 1400s. He was the son of Rodrigo Borgia, the sixth pope of Rome. And that image go back to um, this guy, um, Ptolemy Soto, Ptolemy Soto, which was, um, he was over Egypt at the time, an Edomite, one of the four generals of Alexander the Creek. Okay, one of the four generals of Alexander the Great. And he set up this, this uh, god, uh, Serapis Christus. Okay, that's where Jesus Christ come from, man. It's the gods of the Edomites. Why are we trying to follow these gods, man? Why are we trying to follow this god, man? Okay, the Lord say we are supposed to be separate from everybody else, man. Now, this is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. And it reads, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that you should be mine. Okay? He said, I have severed you from other people. Let's, get, let's go to the word severed. Matter of fact, let's go to the word holy first. Let's look at that. This is the word holy. Holy. It say sacred. You look at this clip. Sacred. Holy. Holy one. Saint. Set apart. Who are the saints? The Israelites, man. Okay, I tell you that in Psalm 15 and 5, and then you go to Psalm 148, man. It tell you that the saints are the Israelites, man. Okay? Once again, it says sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart. Okay? The Lord say we are set apart from the heathens, man. But our people want to be joined to the heathens, man. Okay? Now, let's go back. Let's look at several. Hebrews 9, it's a H914. Sever, separate, divide, difference, okay? Sever, separation. Now, what, what does it say when you read um, um, Deuteronomy 32, man? Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Reading again. Deuteronomy 30, 28. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people 
according to the number of the children of Yahshua Allah, man. Right here. See it right here. To divide, separate. Okay? To separate, set apart, to make a distinction, difference, to divide and parse, man. To separate oneself from, to withdraw from, okay? We don't supposed to be joined together with these demons, man. To be separated, to be excluded, to be set apart, man. Okay? To be set apart, man. Now I'm going to get another one. This is Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy 14 and verse 2. It's going to say the same thing, okay? Deuteronomy 14 and 2. Ye are the children of the Lord Yahweh, your God. Ye shall not... Oh, no, so I can read verse 1. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh, thy God. And the Lord Yahweh have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth, man. Okay? He said holy, a saint, man, set apart, okay? To be separate, man, holy. I read to you in Luke chapter 12, verse 51, he say he come back to set the vision, man. He separated his sheep from the goats as we speak. He's doing that right now, separating the sheep from the goats. We are holy, man. We do not supposed to be joined with these demons, man. Okay? That's the whole point of the Tower of Babel, man. When when um, Nimrod tried to bring everybody together. Okay? Antiochus Epiphanes did the same thing in his time, man. The Lord does not want us joined with these heathens, man. I don't care how you feel or what you say, man. The scriptures say otherwise. We do not supposed to be joined with these demons, man. Now, this is Isaiah 13, verse 15. And it reads, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And it's talking about all the heathen nations and two-thirds of our people that's joined with them. Okay? Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Who are this talking about, man? When you read, when you start at verse 1 in uh, Isaiah 13, it said, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. It say, it say, exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Okay? I have commanded my sanctified ones. The Lord said, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Okay? He told Isaiah to lift up a banner, man, upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles, man. Okay? I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones. Now, when you go to Revelation 18, Revelation 18, The Lord tell you to come out of her, my people. Okay? I'm going to read it. This is Revelation 18. Um, it say, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Okay? The Lord say, Come out of her, my people. Okay?
Revelation 18. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard a voice, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin. Let's look at that. Come out of her, my people. Okay? Let's look at what my means. It say my, me, mine, my own, okay? My own. The Lord said, come out of her, my people. Now, let's go back to people. G2992. A people, people group, tribe, nation, all those who are of the same stock and language. Hey, that's beautiful, man. Okay? It's a people, people group, tribe, nation, all those who are of the same stock and language. What is that, man? Uh, the sons of Jacob, man. It's a of a great part of the population gathered together anywhere. We were scattered. So the Lord said he's gathering his people, man. Okay? His people. Hey, that's beautiful, man. It's a, all those who are of the same stock and language. Talking about out of Jacob, man. Because back, you can't just say Hebrew because everybody spoke Hebrew in the ancient time. This talking about out of the 12 tribes of Israel, out of Jacob, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay? So, we got to stop trying to follow the ways of these heathen, man. Hey, so, Lord's will, this is edifying. I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak, Quarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who teach well. And a sincere salutation to all the occupation is true. Throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hopefully lit. Shalom.